Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we'll be talking about yet another way you can use your local machine to run the large language model, which is nothing but it's not the Olama or any other means because we know that Olama, if you just try running your large language model, it is going to run within your local machine. You can use the API feature to, to get the details out from uh, your large language model. You can interact with the large language model and perform every operation like how you do it uh, on the cloud hosted large language model. So in this video, we are going to talk not about the Olama really, but we're going to talk about yet another exciting way for you to run the large language model, which is nothing but the Docker model runner. So this is currently in the beta state right now. It is still not released to the general public yet, but if you wanted to try out right now you can do it you can see that for the docker desktop mac with apple silicon you can use this and it is quite amazing and one more time guys this uh, olama as you are using today with the running of the local large language model is built by michael uh, chiang who is the co-founder of olama who also early worked on the uh, docker desktop product that we have been using all these days so if you're a fan of uh, docker desktop then definitely you know how docker desktop and docker things are all working you just do docker pull image name and then it pulls the image similarly in the olama if you just do over here like uh, like olama uh, and you can just say pull and then the name of the image it is going to pull that image for you and also it will run the image by just specifying run something like that this is what you do all the time same exact thing is the syntax that you do with the docker as you know but now docker team itself has come their own way of you to run the large language model using this uh, docker model runner as you can see over here it is very very straightforward all you have to do is use this command like docker model uh, status which is going to show the uh, running model status and also you can get the help you can also do the list pull rm run status version all those things that we used to do for a docker container and image uh, and also you can see you can run this uh, docker image in an interactive mode uh, and in an um, normal mode and also they have got an application that you can use to work with i'm going to show you all these details in this particular video and it is very very straightforward so the first thing and foremost thing that you need to do is to install the uh, docker desktop uh, version 4.0 uh, four above so you definitely need to have this because this is a current in beta state uh, so you need to have this latest version uh, of the beta version that you have uh, so i have already installed it over here within my machine so if i go to the dashboard over here and if i just go and see the version can you see that the version which i'm currently running is version 4.40 which is this one and this is the version that you should be in as well so that you can use all the features that i'm going to show you today in this particular video uh, so if i go to the terminal over here because i have already installed it and the way you can actually work with different model is there is uh, a model hub as well, like pretty much like the Docker hub, which has all the container images. They also have got the uh, model hub, which is going to show you all the different models, like uh, like the Llama 3.1, as you can see here, they published like 13 hours before, I think updated before 13 hours. And there is this Llama 3.3, uh, sm uh, small uh, M2, uh, and then there is these models, and there are so many different models. I think it's not... A lot of models pretty much like Olama has, but they are still evolving right now and soon enough there will be a lot of models I'm sure. So I'm going to run the most smallest model which is very responsive model which is this one, the AI uh, small LM2 model. The way that you do it is just docker model pull AI uh, small M2 and this is going to download the model for you and you see that the category is Gen AI. And this is from the hugging face model and it is the architecture of the llama and it has got 8k tokens uh, and you can see that it supports 360 million parameters which is not bad really uh, i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna paste that and if i hit enter you will notice that it is gonna go and pull the model and it has successfully pulled it and it is sitting over here for me so once we have the model if you just go to the documentation over here uh, you can just do all these things so you can just say docker uh, model uh, and then the model name which is going to be so you can just do a docker model uh, list it's going to show you all the different model which is currently sitting uh, within my machine over here uh, and you can also uh, do docker model inspect uh, and you can uh, specify the name of the model that you want to inspect to and it's going to show you the details of that particular model as you can see over here the architecture the size the parameters and all those things and now you can run the model as well. So you can do that using uh, docker model 
uh, run and then the model name which is the ai slash uh, small lm2 model and if you do that you see that now we are doing an interactive mode and pretty much like how you do with the uh, olama you have to specify slash by to exit the conversation from this particular model so i'm gonna say uh, how are you doing and you see that the, the response is quite immediate over here awesome i not even read it and i say great and can you write a a code in uh, hugging face for uh, training a model. Let's see if it can write it. And look at that. This is not bad at all. It is running in my local machine. Uh, it is showing some responses, but it's not the it's not the every detail that you need to train a model. It's quite less. But yeah, this is how you can really use uh, a model and run the model using the Docker uh, Docker. And now if you just go back over here to the uh, to the documentation you'll also notice that they have got another way for you to run the model in a ui version they have got an ui version as well which is this one so model runner in your software development life cycle so they have got a, a code which is built in uh, over here uh, so i'm gonna copy this one and if i just gonna clone this particular repository and if i just go here and i'm going to uh, uh, do an ls over here you see that they have got a run.sh file so all you have to do it just run the run.sh file this is going to pull a docker model for the llama i guess they are using the llama model and once it is there it is going to run a docker uh, compose file for you to run this particular application for you and it is currently running in the port number uh, 8081 as you can see over here so i'm going to go copy that paste it over here hit enter you'll notice that we have got a uh, chat window where you can chat with the Llama 3.2 1 billion uh, Q8 uh, parameter. So that's that's what we, so it's basically 1 billion parameter. Uh, so that's what we are trying, really going to use. I'm going to say, can you uh, tell me who is the president, uh, who is the president of USA? Let's see if it knows. Uh, Based on 2023, it is Joe Biden. So it doesn't have any knowledge on that. So you need to have two links to support all these things. But that's not the topic of today. And I'm going to say, uh, can you write a code in C -sharp .net for um, connecting model with open AI? And if I hit enter, uh, look at that. It is thinking. And now it's going to start writing the code as well. It's it's thinking quite a lot though. But yeah, it's so ugly that it has written a code. So there is no streaming support for some reason. That's why it just brought in everything immediately. Probably this particular um, this UI needs to have a lot of change. But this is kind of a uh, like a preview version of uh, how you can interact with this particular model. They just have shown like how you can do it. But you can also write your own code uh which they have got the details as you can see over here you can use these kinds of uh, uh endpoints to interact with the uh, docker uh, desktops model and then you can uh, you can send this message and you can specify the role and the content see that these things are quite similar to the uh, open ai library that we have got to interact with the uh, with the models so yeah this is how you can actually do it and they are still under uh, development so the the features that you are seeing today might be completely different tomorrow so uh, but yeah but this is another um, another tool that we have got in the wild which is going to be useful for running a uh, a large language model within our local machine pretty much like how can you use the the olama uh, like how you do all these days for running your large language model once again thank you so much for watching this video let me know your thoughts about it and catch you in the next one with another great news about this crazy large language models and AIs.